uh, in this video we will solve a problem on the torsion okay this is the problem number fifth so in the previous uh, video also we solved uh, up to the problem uh, the four problems one by one they are all in different varieties so that they will be helpful while solving the uh, related to torsion chapter here so whatever we are solving here all it will be in a different type and different varieties and they will be helpful in the competitive exams or uh, in any university exams here okay so out of that this is one of the important uh, the problem here so first i'll read the problem and uh, uh, we will analyze and we will write the data and then we will go for the solution here okay so i'll read the problem here a solid shaft has to transmit 75 kilowatt at 200 rpm again this is a solid shaft we have two types right one is hollow one is solid here so this problem is related to solid shaft here solid shaft and it will trans uh, transmit 75 kilowatt so we will write the data first so the solid shaft is to transmit 75 kilowatt that is power power equal to 75 kilowatt convert this into watts 75 into 10 to 3 watts okay uh, at 200 rpm it will rotate at 200 rpm that is n its speed is 200 revolutions per minute next taking allowable shear stress 70 newton per mm square the whatever the allowable shear stress is nothing but the maximum shear stress right so uh, that will be 70 newton per mm square its allowable shear stress is that is tau uh, equal to 70 newton per mm square it is maximum shear stress okay so find the suitable diameter of the shaft you need to find the you need to design or you need to find the diameter of the shaft is how much we don't we don't know the diameter we need to calculate how much is there okay uh, diameter of the shaft if the maximum torque transmitted at each revolution at each revolution exceeds the mean by 30 percent it means here two torques are there one is maximum torque and one is mean torque the maximum torque by each revolution is exceeds the mean torque by 30 percent that i'll write here that is maximum torque equal to it exceeds that is exceeds mean exceeds mean torque by 30 percent right by 30 percent what it mean first we'll calculate the mean torque okay whatever answer we are getting the that will be 30 exceeds the 1.3 times right that is nothing but the maximum torque this just i write here the 30 percent of 30 divided by 100 100 of the mean torque mean torque plus mean torque right 30 percent exceeds it means one plus we will get the extra how much is there that is the maximum torque this normally we will get 1.3 times right 1.3 times mean torque that is the maximum torque are you getting the point at least 1.3 times the mean torque the that will be equal to maximum torque in each revolution in each revolution. so i will write this one here the maximum torque equal to 1.3 times 30 percent exceeds means 1 plus 3 1.3 times mean torque mean torque this is given so we need to calculate the diameter here okay so so these are the data and we will go to solve the problem here so here data are there these are helpful here so to here given power and the speed and the shear stress we need to find out the diameter so how we start here we need to find out the maximum uh, the torque here how how we start what is the relation between the torque and the shear stress so normal formula so in every problem we are started we will start with the same torque equation torque formula here this is for solid shaft so for solid shaft the t torque equal to what is the formula pi by 16 tau into d cube right so here t what is the t t is t maximum or t mean a shear stress is maximum this is maximum shear stress therefore the whatever the torque we are getting that is also t max t maximum okay so maximum shear stress here uh, sh maximum torque here maximum shear stress and the diameter we need to find out the diameter 
we know the shear stress maximum shear stress is given 70 newton per mm square this this we know but we don't know the t max right the maximum torque what is the condition is given in the problem maximum torque is 1.3 times mean torque right so maximum torque equal to 1.3 times mean torque right he is given the condition how to find out the mean uh, mean torque here uh, do we uh, can we use any other data to find out the mean torque yes we can find out the he is given the power he is given the speed of the shaft uh, we can use these two and uh, we will find out the t mean what is the connection between this for the power and the torque here the general formula for the torque equal to 2 pi nt divided by 60 right uh, power this is power the power transmitted equal to 2 pi nt divided by 60 so t is how much t, this is t mean this is mean torque mean torque so substitute any data he is given here the power is given 75 into 10 to 3 that is watts equal to 2 pi into speed is how much 200 rpm speed of the shaft into t mean t mean divided by 60 right so from this uh, equation the t mean is unknown so cal simplify and cal uh, calculate that t mean we will get after simplification we will get the mm, mean torque 3580 point 98 newton meter 98 newton meter convert this into newton mm because we need in newton mm that will be equal to 3580.98 newton mm okay this is t mean and once if you calculate t mean substitute here in t max okay Therefore, T max, the maximum torque equal to 1.3 times T mean. This will be equal to 1.3 into 3580.98. This is into 10 to 3, right? This is into 10 to 3. Into 10 to 8, 8, 80, 80.98 into 10 to 3, right? That is maximum torque. Substitute, uh, substitute this maximum torque here and you know the shear stress and calculate the diameter of shaft. Therefore, here, what is the maximum torque we are getting? 1.3 times into 3580.98 into 10 to 3 equal to pi by 16. Oh, what is the allowable shear stress or maximum shear stress of the shaft? Uh, 70 into 70 into d cube because we don't know the diameter, we need to find out the diameter of the shaft. Okay, so here also only one is the unknown data that is diameter of the shaft. So calculate and substitute the diameter, simplify, we will get the diameter is equal to 69.57, 69.57 millimeter. So this we can write it nearly equal to 70 millimeter. Okay. So this is the diameter of the shaft, solid shaft. So he is given the power, speed, and uh, the shear stress, and the the maximum uh, torque in terms of mean torque. So this is the procedure to calculate the uh, diameter of the shaft here. Okay.